them. And I said, I want you to take this hammer and this box of nails, just leave them right here and come out here and nail them in. Nail them in that tree stump. So the boy went out every day. The first day he nailed in 50, knowing that he should have been praying for all the things going on in his life, and he just didn't. He just kept nailing them in. And after a while, though, the boy began to pray. He'd actually sit on the tree stump and think about it, and he began to pray about things. And soon he discovered that it was easier to pray than nail nails into the old tree. And, and finally one day when he realized that he had come to a place in his life where he felt like he had spiritually grown and matured to some degree, he went back to his father and he said, you know, let me tell you what I think's happened. Let me tell you what's going on. Tell, let me tell you where, where, where I'm at in this. And his father said, good, now let's go to the stump. Let's go back out to the old stump, the old oak tree. And they, he took him by the hand. He went out there and he said, okay, in celebration of what you've done, in celebration of your growth, I want you to take the hammer and I want you to begin to pull the nails out. So, and by now, he had had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of nails. So he went back out there and he began to pull the nails. This, this happened over a couple of years. This wasn't an instantaneous thing. He went out there and he began to pull these nails. He pulled nails and he pulled nails and he pulled nails and he pulled nails. He'd do this every day. You know, he'd go out there and pray and he'd pull these nails. It was a good time of meditation for him. Well, then his uh, father returned after the boy said he had finished pulling all the nails. He said he felt like he grew again. He said, okay. So went back out to the old stump together. And he said, I want you to look at it real closely, and I want you to see all the holes. I want you to see the permanent scars. I want you to see all the permanent holes in this tree where you didn't pray. And the boy looked at it, and, and he said, but now I want you to look at something else. And he took him behind the tree, and there at the base of the old oak tree, new growth had started. New growth had started out of that old oak tree. And the boy looked at it and he said, why? And he said, after you pulled the nails, the rain began to soak in to the root system in the core of the tree, and life came back into it. So it is with the blood of Jesus. All those nail holes in your life, all those scars in your life, all those times you didn't pray, all the times that you didn't reach out to Jesus. He will take his blood and he will wash over you and he will bring new life. That's what the resurrection of Christ did. It took death and it brought the dead back to life. And it brought it back permanently and eternally. Remember, when you pray, you're talking to God. When you read the Bible, God's talking to you. When you gather together to worship, you're celebrating the glory of Christ's resurrection. And it's so simple. That is where the blood waters you. And life comes in. Let's pray. Father, we come to you and we praise you for all those holes in our life that you can water. We ask you to forgive us for the times we haven't prayed. And we ask you to take the prayer that we have feebly uttered to you. We ask you sincerely, Jesus, to speak to us through your holy word. And we ask you that in your abundance we can worship together as a family and love and support one another so that new life will come out of what is dead. Oh, dear Jesus, this morning we pray for all of those here who don't know you, have never made a commitment to you, who haven't joined in your kingdom. Oh, sweet Jesus, I ask you to send the Holy Spirit of conviction so that your permanence just could be glorified. It's in your precious name we pray.